You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days fans, Belinda from Soap Dirt here, and I've got your weekly prediction edition. As always, our predictions are based on recent episode activity and confirmed network spoilers from NBC Peacock. We've got five sizzling predictions for you this week for Maggie and Constantine, for Johnny and Chanel, for Nicole, Eric, and EJ, for Paulina and EJ, and also for Wendy and Tripp. We're going to dive right in, but if you have not, please reach down. Down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our updates. Our very first prediction this week. I think Wendy Shen and Trip Johnson are going to find Lee Shen alive and well in Hong Kong. So last week, I think it was on the 29th, we saw Wendy and Trip pack up and leave for Hong Kong. They are planning to return. This is not a permanent exit. She mentioned not that long ago that her parents seemed finally back to being normal, back to being happy. But that was before she was kidnapped, shoved in that beer vat and nearly died, which totally freaked out her parents. And she and Trip are going to go over there to visit her parents, reassure them, and hopefully to give her some time to process her anxiety and PTSD that we've seen because she is still having nightmares and stuff about this whole situation. But the thing is, I suspect they might actually find her brother there. He may be the reason that her parents were doing better because they were grieving him. And if he showed up there alive, you know, rode Rolf's submarine all the way across the world, you know, maybe hopped a, another flight to get to Hong Kong. You know, Hong Kong is a great place to hide out so that he can leave Gabby Hernandez stuck in prison for his murder. And the spoilers we have for this, it is confirmed that recast Gabby Hernandez is back in June. And that means either the real killer is found or Lee Shen is found. And I think he's actually the orchestrator of his, you know, very temporary death. I think he got Rolf to murder him and then unmurder him. So if he's alive, there is no murder. So I think that's how it's going to go. But we will find out our second prediction. Johnny and Chanel, I think, I really think they may terminate this pregnancy. I, you know, it's kind of an uncomfortable prediction to make, but there's reasons. So I'll tell you about them. So spoilers for Monday, May 6th, Johnny and Chanel consider their options with the pregnancy at the same day. Paulina is devastated that she exposed her daughter and this pregnancy is at risk. Then Wednesday, May 8th, Johnny talks to his dad about the pregnancy and the risks. And there is is a scene in the promo. EJ is telling him, don't risk it. Don't risk it. And then Friday, May 10th, Chanel asks Johnny what he wants to do if he wants to terminate the pregnancy. I did a little research. If you guys listen here regularly, you know, I'm a big researcher. And so I found out that radioactive iodine exposure in the first trimester can be absolutely catastrophic. Not only are there all sorts of issues where the fetus's thyroid won't develop properly, there are significant risks of major cognitive issues, developmental learning display, dis delays, and also later in life, whether any of that happens happens or not, that same child when they're grown as an adult is much likelier to develop many forms of cancer. So it is definitely a cause for concern. And of course, this is controversial to a lot of viewers, but Days of Our Lives has no issue going there. Jada had an abortion simply because she felt like it with no medical reason. And so, yeah, I mean, we've seen that the NBC soap will go there. And in this case, with all the medical reasons piling up, I feel like that they might, um, which is uh, so messy, so soapy. It is May Sweeps. Our third prediction, I think EJ may push Paulina too far at the wrong time and she may fire him as DA. So it was last week or week before, I can't remember now, Paulina called EJ on the carpet in the mayor's office with very relevant and accurate accusations about his sketchy behavior as DA and his response to have his brother's newspaper write a smear piece about her for going to extremes to save her daughter. Yes, it was risky, but a lot of parents would have done the exact same thing. And it is true that EJ has been using his DA office as a tool to punish people he doesn't like, and he's been pulling all kinds of shenanigans. And then Everett publishes a scathing article about Paulina, and that upsets Stephanie, according to spoilers for Monday 
May 6th. Then we have all the angst. I've talked about it in the spoilers above from Paulina over Chanel's pregnancy and the radioactivity and the risk of birth defects. So if she thinks EJ is to blame for this article or he comes at her again when she's stressed out, I could totally see her just on spur of the moment, firing him, rehiring Melinda Trask. There are pictures of Tina Huang in the 15,000th episode photo. So she is still in episodes we're going to see in December. So yeah, maybe a EJ is canned and Melinda gets her job back. And honestly, I hope, I really hope Paulina fires EJ. And then I hope Kristen and Stefan make sure he can't get a job at Demera. And he is left sitting at home like a house husband in the mansion. I think that would be karmic. But since they're about to have a baby in the house, you know, he could just be the the Manny, right? Our fourth prediction, Nicole gets her baby back, but Eric is banned. So spoilers for Monday, May 6th have Sloan coming clean to EJ with the full truth. And in the weekly promo, we see him on the phone raging at a lab about getting a ASAP DNA test. He is not going to take her word for it. He's going to get some DNA from Jude, possibly from from Sloan for Eric, some hairs from her brush, you know, from his brush rather. I mean, if EJ smart, he will check all three of them at once to see, because just the test of him and Jude isn't all the information. Cause if it comes back, not a match, that doesn't mean that Eric is. So hopefully EJ is going to have the three of them tested. And in the end, Sloan is going to have to give back the kid. EJ is not going to let her keep his wife's baby, but he doesn't want Eric to know it's his kid because he knows that will probably break up his marriage. I'm expecting he and Sloan to play Let's Make a Deal, where Nicole gets her baby back during sweeps and it's written off to some sort of paperwork error at the hospital, maybe something like that. EJ is already jealous over Eric, doesn't want him around the kid, and I think he is going to ban probably both Sloan and Eric and tell Nicole he doesn't want them around because it will be confusing for their son, you know, some kind of excuse because he is not going to want Jude's real biological dad around. My fifth and final prediction, I think Maggie Horton may expose Constantine at the altar. So last week, Constantine thought he was so clever by having the pawn steal the prenup out of the safe. But what if Maggie checks and it's gone? It's not like she's gonna be like, oh, well, that's the end of it. She'll just make him sign another one. Not a great plan. And then in the promo for this week, we have a very angry Maggie saying he messed with the wrong red head. So on Thursday, May 9th is when Maggie finds out the truth, but Constantine is still pressing to get a ring on it and is trying to leverage Sarah to get her on his side. And in the promo for the week, we have Marlena and Steve telling Maggie they have a plan to deal with him. So I just wonder if they're going to go ahead forward with the wedding only for Maggie to crush him like a bug at the altar and tell him she knows what he's been up to. You know how much Days of Our Lives loves to do big cataclysmic things at weddings like Lucas Horton being revealed as Sammy's kidnapper at their wedding, Sierra and Ben's wedding day explosion when Eve Donovan kidnapped him. There have been so many things like that, and I think this might be one more excited to see it. Those are all of our predictions. Please subscribe if you haven't. Definitely come back soon. We're here talking Days of Our Lives seven days a week. Drop your comments on what you're excited to see and where you think these storylines are going and check back soon. And I'm your host, Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.